Hey everyone, so today I just wanted to give you a quick summary of the AI risk management framework and hopefully you'll enjoy a quick summary and also a, a document that I've created for you guys. So first things first, take time to go over to the NIST website and there's four core areas that so have created the AI risk management framework 1.1. That special publication number is 100-1. They also have their risk manager playbook. You may know the risk management playbook by what we call frameworks. So if you're familiar with the NIST 853, the cybersecurity framework, or so forth. There's also a risk management framework explainer video, AI risk management framework roadmap, an AI risk management framework crosswalk, and then there's also various perspectives in an introductory video you can also watch. I would actually look at the risk management framework. So here you'll see a framework about the artificial intelligence for 100-1. It's not a really big publication, but it talks about how you want to now contextualize and frame risk. If you are familiar with the original identify, assess, respond, and monitor phases, it's going to try to help inject a new perspective for when you're conducting your risk assessments and you're actually identifying, tracking risk within your risk register and so forth. Now, what I found out on their website is that they have a JSON format, a .csv format, as well as the Excel format as well, or the Excel workbook. But it was not put into a form where you could really use it or basically materialize it within your organization. So what I decided to do was to, to update that for you guys. But there's a couple of different areas that we'll go over in that file as well. Now, if you don't want to download the file, they actually have an interactive format as well, where you can then select each one of the core functions is what they're calling it. The core functions are then broken down into categories and then subcategories that you can focus on specific topics. And you can even click into each one of these and they'll give you a little bit more context and how you can evaluate these controls and how you can apply them in your organization. Very cool way to start approaching managing different types of AI related risks and how you want to apply the appropriate controls within your organization. Now that's one thing you can do. You can also check out the explainer video if you want a little bit more context and why they're doing this, a high level overview of the roadmap and how you can best prepare and integrate this framework or this playbook into your organization. Lastly, they have a high level roadmap of aligning with the international standards and frameworks that we're familiar with, the 853s, the NIST CSF, which is gonna be absolutely instrumental in how we can now take our existing unified compliance framework or consolidated compliance frameworks and then integrate this new 100-1 into those. After this has been live and running, it came out of January 2023 of this year. After it's been live and running for a while, they want to focus on the development of case studies and seeing how well it works in the organization. So I would urge you guys to really start thinking about how you want to integrate this within your risk management framework today and provide some feedback. There's always the request for comments that they open up for the general public. Tell them how you're using it. Tell them about the roadblocks. If it's a lot of theoretical components that are associated with this, but you're having a hard time seeing how to implement it practically. And they're gonna talk about different tutorials and other resources where they'll probably focus on doing what they did in the risk management framework or the CSF where they created the framework profiles. They identify AI use for a specific sector, whether it's like supply chain risk management, or if it's gonna be for a commercial sector, if it's gonna be for a small business. So expect to see something like that from NIST as well. They did create a few crosswalks. It's at a high level. They didn't break it down to the subcategory function, but it's just showing right now that the, the major mapping they have is the ISO for the 23894 information technology for artificial intelligence guidance on risk management. Once again, I do expect to see some more granular mappings to the 853s, hopefully the COVID-2019, Azaka, I'm looking at you, to see what that next integration is going to look like, and then to your more tactical frameworks like Center for Internet Security and so forth. What I wanted to show you guys is that I've went ahead and broken this out for you guys. Remember the core functions that they provide are a govern, manage, map, and measure. I've just put this into a format that you can actually sort by and look into line by line, ask your questions. What I would urge you guys to do is to combine this 
with the other publications that they have out there and look at your existing risk management framework, which is 800-37, to see how you can kind of interject these core functions in there. I'd like to thank you all for viewing. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll talk to you later.